Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of division, specifically how we could recognize a division in word problems, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here. Jeremy has 598 tennis balls in his garage. He wants to organize them into crates of 18. How many full crates can he make? Now, crates of 18, that's about as close as we're going to get to letting us know that we are going to have equal groups. And we're always on the lookout for what part of a word problem is going to tell us we have equal groups. Because when we do, when we find that, we're, we know that we're going to either multiply or divide. So each crate is going to have 18. There's 598 all together, right? So let's draw a strip diagram of this. All right, so he's got a total. So the top part of your strip diagram is always going to be your total. 598 crates of 18. So each crate is going to have 18. So I want to put them into groups of 18, equal groups of 18. Here's what I don't know. How many 18s will it take for me to get to 598? And if I have some left over, I want to know how many full crates. So I don't want to just give the answer as a remainder, right? So we need to divide here. How many 18s can go into 598. So when we multiply in our divisor, which is 18, is two digits, we're going to end up doing it just like we would one digit, right? We're going to do our does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, right? That's my divide, multiply, subtract, check and then bring down. But the difference here is that we are going to have a two-digit divisor. So we might need a little bit of estimation. So can 18 go into this first group of five? No, but 18 can go into 59. How many 18s will go into 59? I'm not sure. I don't know my 18s, but I don't think it's going to be very many, right? So 18 plus 18, that's going to get me 36. If I add another 18, that's going to give me, wow, 54. Okay, so that's really close. So I've got 1, 2, 3 18s. So 18 goes into 59 three times. 3 times 18 is going to be 54. Subtract. That's going to be 5. Check. Is that remainder 5 smaller than the divisor 18? Yes, it is. It has to be. Then we bring down, we only need to bring down one more digit and do it again. How many times can 18 go into 58? Well, I mean, 18 times 3 is 54. You're not going to get another one out of there, so we're going to do it all over again. That's just going to get you 3 again. That's going to be 54 again. Now, our subtraction is going to be a little bit different. That is smaller. There's nothing left to bring down, so our answer would be 33. We can either write this as 33 remainder 4, Right, we can make this a fraction 33 and then 4 eighteenths. Right, you put your remainder as your numerator, your denominator as your divisor. But look at the question how many full crates? Full crates. So if you have extra, that's fine. How many full crates can we make? We can make 33 full crates. We're really not interested in those four that are left over. So now we have Stephanie. She's got 692 rock samples. She wants to display them in rows of 25. All right, rows of 25, that's my equal groups. And then how many rows will her cabinet need? All right, so really we've got my total here of 692. So if I want to make that into a strip diagram. And I need, once again, groups of 25. I don't know how many groups I'm going to need. So we're going to divide. 25 into 692. So if we count by 25s, think of quarters, right? 25, 50, 75. 75 is too big. So we can only go in there twice. So that's going to be 192. Now, how many quarters does it take to make 200? Two dollars? That's eight. This is going to be one less than that. So that's going to be a dollar 75. That's seven quarters, right? That 25 is easy because it it's easy to think of quarters. All right, so I've got 17 left over, 27 and 17 left over. It doesn't say anything about having incomplete rows. So I'm actually going to need 28 rows to take care of my 27 and 17 25ths rows of rock samples.